All right, praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. It is Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Man, it's the middle of our week. I thank God for the medicine to continue to allow us to get through the week. I get about two amens on that. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. And the Bible says, for the one who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But the one who misses me harms himself. The one who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But the one who misses me harms himself. You know, one of the things that I come to find out in life, you have to breathe. Yeah, you have to breathe. Some of the things that we face, we sometimes forget to breathe. Right now, you may need to take a... You might need to take your pause and just breathe. Give yourself time to just breathe. Why do I say all of that? I say all of that because things that we go through, things that we face day by day, we sometimes forget one of the most critical elements as being a believer in Christ. What is that? That we belong to God. That we are in Christ Jesus. And we sometimes forget about that. And sometimes those types of exercises help us to be reminded of who we belong to. But hold up, it doesn't end right there. It doesn't end right there. That's just the beginning. See, for our morning medicine this morning, I want us to be able to take in and breathe and recognize one of the most important components that we sometimes miss in our walk with Christ. Since we belong to him, we should now understand that God is in everything. Let me repeat that. Well, let me rephrase that a little bit. We now should understand that we can find God in everything. Because the issue is not God. The issue is with us. Notice I said find God. That means that it takes me to do something. It requires something of me. When you find something, that means you're seeking it out. But yet I can choose not to seek it out and then I'll miss it. See, one of the things that this scripture talks about this morning, it says, for the one who finds me, finds life. Finds me. That's an action verb. And so when God communicates and says, find me, that means we cannot find him. You cannot look. And if you don't look, you won't find. But yet when you don't look and you don't find, we have the we have the possibility of allowing the situation or the very things that we face to harm us. Know that the second part of that scripture says, but the one who misses me harms himself. Well, why would they harm themselves? The reason why you will harm himself because you're missing what God is doing in the midst of your circumstance. You're missing what God is doing in the midst of what you're facing. You're missing what God is trying to do. He's trying to do some things in your life. And because you're not seeking or finding him, then you're missing him. And if you miss him, then you can do nothing but harm yourself. That's why that situation has the ability now to look bigger than what it truly is. I can find myself lost in God when I should be found. I could find myself feeling like my mind, I'm about to go crazy 
when I should have the peace that surpasses all understanding. See, when I miss him, I open up the door to nothing but harm. I open up the door for nothing but harm. So I want to, for this morning medicine today, to really have us to just sometimes breathe. Breathe. And take that time of breathing to ask God, where are you at? Show me where you at. I know you're here. Because God, right now, I'm seeking you. See, God is speaking here in this wisdom that he's given unto us. And wisdom would point us in the direction of how God is moving. Because sometimes we're not wise enough to see him, nor wise enough to find him. But yet God has proportioned this wisdom that we will find him. We will find how God is moving. Because God is in everything. It's just a matter of me finding him. Finding how God is moving. Finding how God is maneuvering. Finding how God is deciding in which direction he's deciding to go. See, this is critical because we have to understand that we can find God in all things. Man, hold up. You telling me I can find God uh, in my, my supervisor tripping? Yes. You can find God and finding God. That's where your self-control is for you not to go off on that crazy boss. For you not to go off on one of your co-workers. For you not to be a slave to the situation or slave to your emotions. You can find God and allow the fruits of the spirit, according to Galatians chapter five, to be able to be manifested in your life. See, right now, I may not have kindness because what they're doing is kind of making me upset. But yet when I find time to breathe, oh, Lord, help me, Lord, let me find you in this. And the Holy Spirit will open up the fruits. And one of the fruits is kindness. And that's the, what I need in order to get me through this day. Because if I continue to say what I want to say, man, I'm going to end up losing my job. I don't know about y'all. I got a mortgage payment. I don't know about y'all. I got some things I got to pay. But see, yet the fruit of the spirit. Wisdom will point me to go ahead and eat some of that fruit. Because in that you'll find life. I don't know how kind words throws away wrath, but I know kindness is, is, is the fruit of the spirit. And if God is in it, that, that means there's some goodness in it. See, that's what I'm saying. That God is in everything. And if we make this declaration that God is good, that means it's good there. The problem is I just don't know how to find it. And the reason I don't know how to find it is because I've lost track of God. Because if we declare God is good, y'all know what we say, God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. You, you know that saying. But yet, if you truly believe that, then you got to believe that he's good in everything. In anything I face, anything I come across, he's still good. And if God is still good and I'm able to find him, then that means there's goodness in everything that I face. I just got to find him. He's the key factor. I just have to find him. And in finding him, trust me, I'll see the good. Doesn't mean sometimes we're going to have to endure. But how many times that we reflect back over situations we went through and we can rejoice over the good? See, sometimes it takes us getting out of the situation, then we now are mature enough to see the goodness. But I'm telling you this, the goodness has always been there. It's just sometimes we go through it, we can't see it. We miss it. Because sometimes we're not looking. And that's why we end up in things longer. That's why we end up allowing some things to happen that probably shouldn't happen if I would have sought him. But yet, 
I can find the good. I don't have to wait till I get out of the thing. I can find the good while I'm in the thing. Why? Because it's all predicated on God. So I'm just saying for today and from here on out, sometimes just take time to breathe and have a moment of breathing. Seek the Lord. He's there. Trust when I tell you he's there. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Trust me, he's there. But the question is, not him, but am I seeking him? Am I trying to find him? Am I trying to find him? Because he's waiting to be found. Remember, breathe. Seek him. Enjoy it. The good that he's able us to receive. Not when we get out of the thing, but the very moment that we're in the thing. I don't care if they're yelling. I don't care what. I don't care what is happening. I don't care what's going on. But what I'm telling you is that God is good. And if you believe that, then you have to believe that there's good in it. That's the question. Are you seeking him? This is your morning medicine. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. God bless you all.